What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today we're going to be unboxing this mystery tin here, which I'm really excited about. So you used to be able to get these from Walmart, mystery tin, mystery boxes, different things like that from MJ Holding. Uh, unfortunately, they do not do them too often. So this one here I did buy from eBay and I'm not going to say how much I paid, but I'm really excited to open this. This is the first time that I got to open something like this and it's really cool. So inside, there is four factory sealed packs plus 10 assorted cards and you could also get uh, extra, mystery, extra mystery packs and game used cards as well. So I'm really excited to see what is in here. Now of course they're going to put the Series 1 2015-16 pack right on the front which is doubtful that you're going to get that. Uh, you likely will get something like this which is 16-17 Series 1. Uh, so yeah. We're going to see what is inside here, open it up for the first time and see what we might get. So, hopefully uh, we're going to get something good inside. And I do like the idea of them making their own custom tins. I think that's very unique, but I bet you it costs them a little bit, which is why they don't do it anymore. So right up first, we do have these cards here on top that are not sealed or in anything they're just loose so we do have Jonathan Hubero uh, this is 1819 so pretty recent we have Lars Eller PK Subain which is a nice one I think I already have that in my collection though let's move these ones out of the way uh, we do have Martin Hazal uh, Patrick Bergeland I don't know why today it's not focusing really, but Mike Fisher, who I do collect, I think I already have this one. Uh, we do have Cody Hodgson, I hate the scorecards, Drew Samford, Nathan Horton, Shane Doan, and that's really cool. So we did get one that does have a, a jersey card in it. This is Eric Stahl. A dual jersey card which is awesome so not quite sure the value of this but that is a cool card and nice addition to my personal collection that right there might be worth it I'm not 100% sure hopefully we will get more stuff out of this so let's see what else is in here so the rest should all be the sealed packs there should be four sealed packs inside and we actually got five which is awesome so we did get like I mentioned uh, it was like highly likely that we'd get a 1617 series one pack. Uh, we did get a 1920 Parkhurst, which is thick. Uh, we do have a hobby pack for 1718 MVP, which I do not care for MVP or Parkhurst or score like I already mentioned. Uh, and this is the most common out of these mystery boxes, which is 1213 score. Usually MJ Holding does mostly score packs whenever you get them. So if it's a mystery box that they've done in the back or in the past where it's a lot of sealed packs, let's say 10 sealed packs, five of them are going to be score. Unfortunately, that's just how, uh, how they work. So since these are score and I do not like them, we're going to quickly skip through. Chris Neal, uh, let's see who we might get, Andrew Ladd. We do have a Philip Cornett Hot Rookies, which is not one of the top ones. And we do have Stephen Wace uh, Season Highlight, which I've had this card before and I put it in one of my mystery packs. So, again, not something that is great. But we did get a Chris Neal, which is likely going to stay in my PC since I do collect anything him. Next up, we have the next pack here. And again, I'm just going to skip through, see, there's not really any big names. We have Malkin Award winners. Uh, we do have David Beckes, uh, the franchise for St. Louis, which is cool. Uh, we do have a season highlight, Ryan, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. So, a few decent names, but nothing of real value. We do have an MVP pack here. This is, again, a hobby pack, which I don't really care about MVP anyways, but it is nice to get hobby packs out of stuff like this, so I'm going to skip through here. Uh, we have Connor McDavid checklists. That's really cool. 
I do collect McDavid, Jamie Benn, Zibanejad. Uh, this is a puzzle piece card, just like that. You can tell because of the sides. Uh, Peke Rene, who is now retired, which is cool. Yossi, Jonathan Taze. So we did get some bigger names, but nothing of real value inside that. Next up, we do have Parkhurst, which, again, I'm not a fan of. Well, I'm not a fan of a lot of these ones that were included, so uh, let's see if they can redeem themselves here. I'll let it focus. We have Colin White, uh, Debrinket, Tatar, uh, Derek Steffen, Galachek. Nick Suzuki, which is cool. We do have a silver border for Leon, which is awesome. Lindholm, Chara, before he switched it up. And Dallin. So some decent names that Chara is going to be staying in my personal collection. But the rest isn't of much value to me. And we do have one pack left. This is the 16-17 Series 1. Georgie's. Let it focus there. Uh, Gallagher, Kessel, Ekholm. Oh, we do have a Phil Kessel canvas card, which is awesome. I do PC him, so that's nice to add to the collection. Getzlaff, Mark Stone, and Hannafin. So the top one here in the packs, out of all the packs, uh, one just flew there, that's fine, is Phil Kessel, which is awesome. So we did get some pretty okay cards, uh, nothing of great value in my opinion, nothing that really stands out, uh, other than the Phil Kessel canvas card, which we just pulled, which is awesome, it's, I'm a huge fan of Phil Kessel, so that's going to be a great addition to my personal collection, and we do have this Eric Stahl dual jersey card, which again, I do collect him, I am a fan of his, so that is really cool, but for these mystery boxes here, I'm not sure how much Walmart was charging for them back in the day. I would hope something like this, even though it is in a tin, uh, with this included five sealed packs, but you're only supposed to get four, plus ten cards, and you're not always guaranteed a jersey card. Um, I would put it in the ballpark of around maybe $30 is how much this would be from Walmart. This cost me $40 on eBay. That includes shipping. So... Not really of the value that I spent on it, but still a really cool item to unbox on the channel, and I am pleased with it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.